Nuclear Physics Nuclear physics is the study of the atom's nucleus. This includes its structure, formation, stability and decay. Let's start going over one of the most known parts which is fission. Fission is basically the cleavage of a nucleus. The two most used elements in fission is uranium and plutonium. Why is because uranium is common and easy to split. And all plutonium isotopes are radioactive. And also much more radioactive. Radioactivity is when an atom has too many or too few neutrons. In other words it is unstable. This is called an isotope. All atoms have different kinds of isotopes here is hydrogen isotopes. And here is uranium isotopes. How it works is that a neutron gets shot into a nucleus which splits it in smaller pieces. And what happens after is that this nucleus neutrons shoots to other nucleus nearby. This causes a chain reaction which after few splits of the nucleus releases extreme amounts of energy. This extreme amount of energy can be used for many things. But one thing of those stands out and that is the nuclear bomb. A nuclear bomb is an incredibly powerful bomb which can evaporate big cities in seconds. What separates this bomb to other bombs is that after the explosion there is radioactivity. All tow nuclear weapons are extremely powerful they have only been used twice which both of the times was on Japan. One in Hiroshima and one in Nagasaki. But nuclear bombs aren't the only kind of bombs which emits radioactivity. These are all the different kinds of bombs which lets out radioactivity after blast. Atomic bombs. Dirty bombs. Nuclear bombs. Nuclear weapons. Radiological weapons. Thermonuclear weapons. Nuclear reactor is also something that uses fission. A nuclear reactor is an energy source which doesn't pollute but still isn't a renewable energy source since uranium and plutonium is finite. Fusion. Unlike fission which breaks down the nucleus in two smaller parts, fusion is when the nucleus smelts together and builds bigger nucleus. Fusion power is only a plan right now but it would generate electricity by using heat from nuclear fusion reactions. There is also a nuclear weapon which uses fusion. It is called a thermonuclear weapon. They are also called hydrogen bombs and these bombs are the most powerful to be created. Russia created one of these bombs. It is called a Tsar bomber and this one bomb was 3300 times more powerful than the bomb dropped in Hiroshima. Which is mind blowing. The shock wave from the bomb orbited the earth not once not twice but three times. Well I hope this video helped you. Anyways subscribe like and goodbye.